CNBC TV 18 Weekender, only on CNBC TV 18. Hi guys, welcome to the CNBC TV 18 weekend. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to be meeting with the founder of Diesel. He's also the president of the OTB Group, a group that owns many renowned Couture brands. Let's go meet him. What do you think about this? This is really nice, Janam, so with all those patches and everything. And this. Hi guys, hi Renzo, hello. I'm Ned Tarek, this is TV 18. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to India. Hi. I'm going to see the big boss. Sure, I'm sure, going to sure. bring him back in about 2025 20, yes, with Mr. Here. Thanks Renzo for inviting us to this okay. store. Welcome to India. I'm very happy to be here, you know, I love this place, I love the people, I love the smile from this beautiful country and uh, the colors. So what brings you here besides the beautiful people and the colors? Uh, my business, uh, because uh, I run in diesel and also a lot of other brands, uh, but uh, diesel is the most uh, popular and uh, this is a perfect fit uh, for what we're doing, especially in denim, uh, uh, for uh, India country. So are you excited about the prospects in India? How has the Indian experience been so far when we talk about your business? But India is uh, a country that is uh, moving a little bit slow compared maybe with China, but uh, it's a country that is uh, very safe because uh, it's going slow but uh, very stable. So it plays the rule for to becoming uh, an important country, an important economy for the future. So what are your plans? If I was to ask you how many stores you want to open, how many would you ideally like oh, to have? Yeah. But by now we have 12 stores, so and um, every year we improve. We're doing, uh, I think, the is 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 problem is another four stores for the next couple of years. And uh, we have to wait in the, the town grow, the right mall, because uh, it's not uh, just to open a store, you need to be in the right position, the right mall, with the right brand close together, because uh, we now, uh, the last uh, two years, we spent a lot of money and time for. Uh, build up uh, because uh, the brand is really alternative to the luxury and um, need to be in the right position because our prices are quite uh, quite high. They are quite high so you know are they as expensive as a pair? If I was to buy a pair of jeans here would it be the same as if I was to get them in Europe or America or because of the tax structure etc it's more expensive here? If, let's say uh, you have to compare you have to pay a little duty so um, less than five percent more expensive so it's not so, so big difference. But do you introduce the line here at the same time that you do in the rest of the world exactly. or is it dated? For me it's uh, one collection in one time all over the world because uh, people live in Los Angeles or in Mumbai or in Delhi or in London must be at the same time have the same product. And also because you know the proliferation of the internet, the social media, I guess that has also made it a little difficult uh, to not be everywhere at the same time. You know, this is great. I think online is uh, it's very magic because you can order every, everywhere you are and uh, in any hours of the days uh, and you can order what you like. So this, uh, I think is a very good uh, um, new way to buy, a new helping for the new family, for the people in general that have a different uh, attitude, a different uh, uh, way to survive. So it's uh, fantastic. You know, but carrying on this conversation of the internet and this proliferation, has it made the runway redundant? Do you still need to have fashion weeks? Because, you know, you can see anything, anytime on the internet. You have to say that uh, fashion week is very important because uh, uh, you can show the product uh, and uh, 
uh, you, you need the time for to digest uh, mm. and uh, also in the time to produce, in the time to, to work on for the bias. And so you have, we have the time also for the journalist to propose uh, and I think uh, when you work especially on the high level, that's the, the way to work. When, when you work in maybe more uh, commercial, more mass, uh, you can you can do in different like uh, the last show of Cali West. Um, you can do uh, see now by now. You, you talk about now, and that preempted my next question. You know, if everything is now about now. So you know, this, do consumers get confused that I'm seeing a line now, but it's going to be available only six months from now? Do you see any more change in that? More difficult is your product. Uh, more um, uh, ingredient is on your product. Uh, more high is your product. Uh, more difficult is really to, to do see now by now. Uh, when you have uh, simple things, uh, okay, the, let's do it. Let's say that uh, creativity, uh, you have to spend the time uh, and you have also to, uh, and or, also this time is fantastic because uh, you, you can desire more. Otherwise, uh, to have everything after you, when it is arrived, uh, in the same moment that you see, uh, you have already lost the, the desire to wear. You tease the consumer yeah. that this is what's going to be coming. So, you know, as you grow older, how do you ensure that you continue talking to the younger people, the younger people that are buying your jeans? I already have done um, an operation a few, a few years ago. I bring Nicola Formichetti on board, so I passed the testimonial. He's him now the creative director. I think he's doing a very good job. Uh, you, you can see here around the, the, the new collection now is really one few rules from the beginning to the end. Uh, we, are, we are very happy the, of, of the, what the Nicola is doing. Also, we, we increase the, the, the status of the brand, we cut mm. the, the low profile, the low distribution, and, then, and now this is becoming really super cool uh, like it was uh, uh, a few years ago. Was it difficult to not be so hands-on as far as creativity goes? Was it difficult to detach? No, you have to think that uh, this is 30, 30, 30, 30, 80 so years old uh, and uh, I think uh, it's necessary that uh, it's naturally that uh, a new people, young people coming on board uh, and bring uh, his brand that uh, is already so solid, uh, is already so great uh, all over the world uh, with, uh, for, the, for the new generation and I think Nicole is doing very well with the collection first of all, second now we have also uh, the right advertising for who we want to be, for who we was uh, before in advertising that I think um, this is in communication was uh, the, a brand that changed the, the, the world of communication and then the new advertising, the last advertising is really fantastic because we interact with the consumer mm -hmm. and now we have also the new concept store that we just opened a few weeks ago in uh, Madison Avenue in New York so a lot of things is done. So are we going to see that in India, the new concept store? Uh, I hope soon because uh, now we got to to refit the, the the first stores that we opened in the beginning and uh, soon I think in uh, hope uh, at the end of this year or the beginning of next year. Why did you name your label as your name? Why did you say Diesel? Is there any story behind that? But because uh, when I, I started with, with Diesel, I was, I was very young, first of all, I was uh, very much in love with Levi's, so Levi's for me is like my grandfather. CNBC TV 18 Weekender.